I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time being here, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below. If you're a return viewer um, or even a subscriber and you didn't know this video was posted, click that little bell notification icon and let's see if uh, YouTube will notify you. But uh, regardless, I want to thank everybody for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Now, in our last Grand Stream Access Point video, I talked about the different ways that you can manage Grand Stream Access Points. And in this video, we are going to demonstrate one of those ways. Now, in the last video, we talked about the new Grand Stream GWN 7630. And in this video, the additional AP that we are going to be managing is the new, and this is a beta device. I do have to tell you that it's beta. I am testing it. This is the GWN 7602. So um, on the back, you can see we've got PoE in, or you can power it um, over here with uh, a power brick or a, a power adapter. It's going to have, it's got two PoE out ports and a standard non-PoE out port. We can do all kinds of different configurations with this, but you can see I've got the purple light there. We are in our 7630. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the 7630 as the master AP. And it was the first one, you know, that we kind of set up. So that is what we're going to use as the master. You can change that. This is just kind of a quick overview of how we adopt in another access point using the, the uh, main or master access point. And then we'll take a look at some of the settings on that new AP. So we're logged in. We're going to go to access points. And you can see here it lists the GWN 7630 as our master. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this discover AP. And it's going to... so what we're going to do is you can see it's a GWN 7602. It is wired. And right here we can pair this device. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And now you can see that the GWN is uh, provisioning. You can see we've got blinky lights happening here on this. Um, I am, I'm kind of a fan of this device. I'm telling you, they've, uh, they are working on the security mounting options for this. And I don't have that yet, but uh, that is coming because this is also going to be used as like an in wall type unit. You can see we've got a solid light right now. It's saying we are offline. This device is going to uh, initialize. Now we're showing online. So now uh, what's going to happen is it's going to, you know, provision, you know, the settings over to this device. But we can open this up. We can go to edit. We can delete the paired device. We can locate the device. So if we do a locate um, on this, if I click locate, you can see how quick the LED uh, starts flashing. The locate is very fast um, on these. So, all right, our other options here, we can enable SSH remote access to the device. We can uh, transfer to master or we can bridge um, or we can do mesh a mesh with this. So we are not going to do uh, a mesh with it at the moment. We're going to go ahead and edit this and take a look at some of the configuration. So here on the status, pa status page, you can see that the client bridge is disabled. Link speed is 100 megs full duplex. There are no clients. Here is our uh, configuration. Here we can change the device name. We can put a uh, static IP. We can enable that airtime fairness. Band steering, client steering. You can see that client steering is in beta. So come down to our 2.4 gigahertz, and you're going to see most of the same options that you uh, are used to seeing with these APs or, or mini APs. We've got our five gigahertz there. 
and there is no wireless uplink. There is no mesh here. We can add this to the SSIDs. So what we can do is we can come over here to SSIDs and we can add an SSID and we'll call this, uh, I don't want to call it FBI van, we'll call this a GWN APs. We'll enable this. We're not going to put any VLAN on it at the moment. We're not going to put any client limits on it or anything else. There's more videos to come where we're going to go over a lot of this stuff. So uh, we're going to leave a lot of this default. And this is going to be let me in. Um, let me in now. So you can see that. Like I said, for now, we're just going to leave all of that uh, blank, but we are going to add both of these APs, and we'll go ahead and save that and apply. Services will restart here. Applied successfully. Okay, everybody is online. And so we're going to come over here and now we can see the GW, the GW, uh, a GWN APs network is secured and it is showing up. So both of these are broadcasting that right now. And then of course we've got the uh, GWN 7630 that is broadcasting its default network that we never did, uh, that we never turned off. So it's, it's pretty easy. You can see um, I'm going to do some videos where we're going to do full out deployments of these devices, but we're going to go through all of the different management options first. So this is managing multiple APs with a single AP it really is that easy. We're going to go through the uh, other two options and I'm hoping that that first quarter uh, target where they're going to have the GWN uh, cloud service available locally. I'm, I'm hoping that that is going to be first quarter. Uh, we'll just have to see what they say. Here's our access point screen again. You can see that this is the master. I mean, it's really, really easy. Now everything for the controller happens through here. Um, the one other option is that if something were to happen, you could transfer another AP to be the master controller. So when we're setting these up, we always want a primary and a secondary so that if the primary goes away, the secondary can take over. We're going to get into all that when we deploy this uh, at, at semi-scale. Um, we'll use all of the APs that I have to do this and, and look at that configuration. Like I said, this... You saw how easy it was. I plugged the access point in. The GWN7630 saw it on the network. We were able to adopt it and uh, push that SSID over. So um, as soon as we get a little bit closer to the launch of this Grandstream beta device and they've got a different firmware and things like that, I'm going to do a more of an in-depth video. If you're interested in this and you want an in-depth video now, I'm allowed to do that because it's Grandstream, and as long as I tell you that's a beta device, they allow me to do that. So if you want a more in-depth video on the 7602 and the features that it has, put that down in the comments and let me know. So that's it. Like I said, it is really this easy to manage multiple Grandstream access points. If you've got any questions, any comments, any concerns, you can always ask questions, put your experiences down below. And if you need any type of IT consulting, Wi-Fi, wired networking, storage, security, voice over IP, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and we'll be in touch with you as soon as we can. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to support us by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks. That link is down below. As always, all of my affiliate links are down below. Don't feel pressured to use those. Uh, they don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over here to the channel. The 7602 is not going to be available yet. The 7630 is available. And like I said, if I'm doing voice over IP, these are going to be uh, my choice if I'm doing voice over IP over wireless. So we're going to get into 
all of that. But I, I'm, I wanted to talk about this. We've got a couple other videos that we're, where we're going to talk about the adoption and the management of these. So I hope you come back for that. And as always, I want to thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.